Hey guys, today we're going to talk about systems of equations. A system of equations is a set of equations in which a solution is found by using all of the equations together. You can solve for the variables at the same time by using substitution or elimination. In this lesson, we're going to use the substitution and elimination methods, and I'll also explain when it's helpful to use one method over the other. Let's start with a problem. There are 27 dogs at the park. Some are small and some are large. There are 11 more small dogs than large dogs. Write the system of equations that can be used to find how many dogs of each size are at the park. Let S represent small dogs and P represent large dogs. So let's begin by gathering some information. We know that there are 27 dogs in all, and this is a mix of small and large dogs. So we know that S is going to represent small dogs and P is going to represent large dogs. So we can begin by writing the first equation for this top bit of information. If there are 27 dogs in total, I'm going to put 27 after the equal sign. Now I know that that's a mix of small and large, so that means that S plus P equals 27. Next, I see that there are 11 more small dogs than large dogs. So that means the number of large dogs plus 11 equals the number of small dogs. So large dogs is P plus 11 equals the number of small dogs, or S. So now I have my system of equations, right? I've got two equations, and they each have two variables. Now to solve this system, we're going to use the substitution method. And so what I'm going to do is rewrite these equations down below and we're going to make some space to work. So S plus P equals 27, and then P plus 11 equals S. Now the substitution method is good here because the variable S in this equation is already isolated. So you've already solved for S. You have an expression. P plus 11 is equivalent or equal to S. And that means anywhere that S appears, you can substitute this expression in. If you notice, S is in this top expression. So what I'm going to do is substitute the expression P plus 11 for S in the top equation. Now let's do that over here in blue. If I substitute P plus 11 for S, right? P plus 11, now plus P equals 27. I can start to combine like terms. I have p plus p. p plus p is 2p. So I have 2p plus 11 equals 27. Now let's move 11 to the other side of the equal sign. And we're going to do that by subtracting 11 from both sides. So you're going to get 2p on the left equals 27 minus 11, which equals 16. Now I can solve for p by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. I divide by 2, I'm left with p, and then 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this means that p equals 8, or the number of large dogs equals 8. So now that I know the value for p, I can substitute this value back into either equation to find the number of small dogs. Because the second equation is already solved for s, I'm going to substitute back into the second equation. So I know p equals 8. I see p right here. So that means 8 plus 11 equals s. 8 plus 11 is 19, so that means the number of small dogs is 19. Now let me show you one last thing. You can check these answers. <clears throat> and that's because we already have an equation, right? We know that P plus 11 equals S. So I have values for P and S, and what I'm going to do is substitute them into this equation and see if the equation holds true. So P plus 11 equals S, so if P equals 8, I'm going to have 8 plus 11 equals 19. If this equation holds true, then my solutions are correct. 8 plus 11 is 19. 19 equals 19. The equation holds true, and my solution is correct. There are 8 large dogs and 19 small dogs at the park. Let's try another problem together. On a flight from New York to Boston, there are 38 passengers. There are 28 more adults than children on the flight. Write the system of equations that can be used to find how many adults were on the plane. Let A represent adults and C represent children. So let's start to write out these equations. We know that in all that there are 38 passengers. We know that this is a mix of adults and children. 
A represents adults and C represents children. So from this first bit of information, we can write our first equation. The total number of passengers, which is adults plus children, equals 38. Now let's think about this next part, which starts here. There are 28 more adults than children on the flight. When you see this, you should start to think about subtraction. So if there are 28 more, that means the difference between the adults and children is 28. So the adults, oh, sorry, let's make that thicker. So the adults minus the children is a difference of 28. Now to solve this system of equations, I'm going to use the elimination method. And the reason I'm going to use the elimination method is because in the top equation, you have the variable C. In the bottom equation, you also have the variable C, but they're opposite but equal in value, right? Opposite signs. Here in blue, the C is positive. In the second equation, C is negative. Same equal value, opposite direction. The elimination method is better here because you can go and add these two equations and the C variables are going to cancel out to zero because C plus negative C equals zero. And that's why the elimination method is advantageous here. So let's add these two equations. So begin by adding the, the A variables. And this is the same thing that you do when you combine like terms, right? So A plus A equals 2A. C plus negative C equals 0. And then 38 plus 28 equals 66. This simplifies to 2A equals 66. Solve for a by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. 2a divided by 2 is just a, and 66 divided by 2 is 33. Now this means that the number of adult passengers on the flight is 33. <clears throat> now that you have a value for a, you can go in and substitute this into either equation. So let's use the first equation, right? You have a plus c equals 38. We know the value of a is 33. So now think about it this way. What number plus 38, uh, sorry, plus 33 gives you 38? 33 plus 5 equals 38. So the number of children on the flight is 5, and that means C equals 5. You could have also done this algebraically if you kept the C here, right? you would just solve using inverse operations. So you'd subtract 33 from both sides and you get C equals 38 minus 33, which equals five. In this lesson, you've learned how to translate a word problem into a system of equations. And then you've learned about both the substitution and elimination methods. I hope this makes solving certain problems a little easier for you in the future. Thanks for watching.